using the quotient rule, find the derivative of 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 4. So, find the derivative with respect to x of 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1. Now recall, whenever you're using the quotient rule, the quotient rule is as follows. So you're dividing, you find the derivative of two functions dividing, right? We got one function divided by another function. And then you're just going to go ahead and do um, g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x divided by g of x squared. Right? So, over here, you can just go ahead in your problem, right here, derivative of 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1, and find the derivative of f of x. I mean, go ahead and find f of x. f of x is any function you choose. You can choose either top or bottom. I usually choose the top. Enumerate. And go ahead and find derivative, and that's going to be 5. Go ahead and find g of x, which is equal to x squared plus 1. Go ahead and find g prime of x, equal to um, the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and derivative of positive 1, which is 0. So g of prime of x is equal to 2x. Go ahead and plug it into the quotient rule, right? So, derivative with respect to x of 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1 is equal to x. Go ahead and I'll just recopy it one more time so we can see it better. And it'll look like this g of x, f prime of x, minus f of x, g prime of x, divided by g of x squared. So it's going to be g of x, which is right here, x squared plus 1, right, times f prime of x, which is 5, minus f of x, right, which is 5x minus 2 times, right, g prime of x. To x. So then all that's going to be divided by g of x squared. So g of x is x squared plus 1 squared, right, the whole thing squared. And, um, So, this is going to be the derivative with respect to x so 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1. The derivative with respect to x so 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1 equals 5 times x squared plus 1 minus 2x times 5x minus 2. I just, I just go ahead and make everything into a coefficient times the binomial, so that way it makes it easier for us. And so the derivative with respect to x of 5x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1 is going to be equal to, go ahead and use the Schubert property. It's going to be 5 times x squared is 5x squared, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Then 2x times 5x is going to be 10x squared. And then 2x times negative 2 is going to be positive 4x divided by x squared plus 1 squared. So the derivative with respect to x is 5x squared minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1. And that's going to equal 5x squared plus negative 10x squared. Combine like terms, and that's going to be negative 5x squared plus 4x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 1 squared. And then so the derivative of 5x squared minus 2 divided by x squared plus 1 is going to be negative 5x squared plus 4x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 1 squared.